participants, my name is Tabassum Modi. I've been in the business of events for the last 20 years. I run an event management company and content production house based out of Mumbai called Victor Tango Entertainment Private Limited. I'm here today to talk to you about the topic of event manager as a professional leader. And within that, we will address the specific skills required to be an event manager. So let's get straight to it. After listening to this session, you should be able to explain what are the essential skills every event manager needs and describe how an event manager works with the team and gets the best out of them. So we will go into each of these skills in more detail in the subsequent session. But to give you a broad overview, organizational skills is one of the most basic and core skill of an event manager. Event planners are organized people having an eye for details, schedules, timelines, deadlines, deliveries, and can plan elaborate setups. So we use tools like checklists, run sheets, GAN sheets, etc. These help in putting down our thoughts on paper and also serve as a guideline for anyone else who is looking at these sheets. The basic understanding of the kind of events you do or your company does and the range and diversity of the events is very important for you to plan your uh, various checklists. People skills is one of the second most important aspects of our business. You need to be comfortable connecting with vendors, with government officials, high level executives, regulatory authorities, co-workers, sponsor representatives, customers, suppliers, supervisors, staff, and event attendees. For this, you need to be able to be pleasant and confident. Now you'll see the diversity of the kind of people that you have to deal with, right? From uh, you know blue collar officials right up to suppliers and staff who's even maybe constructing the set. So you need to be able to connect to each one of these people and get what you want done from them. So your people skills become very important and your ability to adapt to different kind of people also is very important. The next thing we'd like to focus on is building relationships. Now to do all of these things, you can't do it all by yourself. Uh, you need to have the ability to be a uh, very networking uh, savvy. So you need to be able to connect with people. They should want to do things for you because they like you or they want to keep your trust or they want to establish a relationship with you. So those qualities are extremely important for you to inherit or to have in you. Flexibility. A leader needs to be fearless. Okay, sometimes you need to take some very tough calls, but handling stress calmly is very important because your team feeds off your energy. And yes, there are times when maybe you lose your calm, or sometimes you have, let's say, had to, you know, pull up somebody for doing something wrong. It's always nice for you to go and clear up the issue with them at a later point of time and reestablish your faith and relationship because obviously all of you are there to get the job done. And sometimes you just need to be a little tough also, but be flexible. It's not personal. So don't have any personal grudges against anybody. Creativity is an asset. Your clients always expect you to give them cutting edge, incredible and creative ideas. So, Creative ideas from an event design point of view is very important. Now you might think that maybe that you don't belong to the creative team or that someone else's responsibility, but being a good leader also means that you should have knowledge and ability to contribute across various departments. The next thing we'll address is technical knowledge. Uh, your knowledge about stage equipment, mics, amps, speakers, lights, laser shows are essential. Nowadays, familiarity with graphics, special effects software, audiovisual formats, applications, programs, which are IT enabled, is definitely a, not just an asset, but a prerequisite. Uh, with machine learning and artificial intelligence coming into the whole events uh, domain, uh, being on top of your game technically would definitely give you an advantage. Marketing skills. Now, you don't only apply marketing skills to get business or to build the brand. You have to apply your marketing skills or your people skills or your communication skills across the board, like I've already explained before. You really need to be able to sell yourself uh, and your company. Having a financial expertise would, be, would make you an asset to your company. Uh, 
even though you might not think you're a finance person, but as an event manager, you need to be able to estimate and control costs, to work within budgets, to ensure that profit is achieved. You would be involved in event bud budgeting as a leader of a project. So, and along with budgeting, cash flow projections are very important. Uh, you need to be able to purchase and procure at the right prices. So by default, you end up becoming a finance uh, savvy person, even if you are not right now. Logistics, having a good understanding of people and material movement, transportation, time estimation, what could be the portal, possible bottlenecks? Uh, and, and this is at any for any of the skills, always looking at what could go wrong is create, is, is essential. Problem solving and time management skills is an asset. Crisis management, to be able to handle any type of crisis and preparing for crisis handling beforehand. As events can be affected by natural disaster, technological crisis, workplace issues, organizational misdeeds, confrontation, rumors, man-made disasters, fire stampedes due to crowds, riots, many such crises. Building a contingency plan and a chain of communication to mitigate possible crisis is extremely important. Having insurance is a basic prerequisite. Uh, in a crisis, managing people also becomes very, very important. And you have to use your interpersonal relationships with people to get what you want done. So as important as it is to plan an event, it's equally important to plan what all can go wrong in an event. So always as a leader, have an eye on what can go wrong and be prepared for that because not too many people would be looking at that aspect. Now coming to working within the team and the role of an event manager. Here we look at you as the leader of the team. You're the one who is going to be leading the team and build, giving a structure to the team that you have within you, giving them, dividing the work between all of them, uh, dividing all the crisis, challenges, pressures, and commitments within the various teams that you will build in your team structure. You need to constantly have the ability to inspire the team to achieve higher goals as a competent and efficient team to ensure success of your event. The team's collective competencies added to the capabilities of each individual will be a critical factor for a successful event. In a team, you need to identify who is good at what and give them those kind of roles. So someone might be a good negotiator, while someone else could be a good communicator. So allocate work based on their strengths, and that would give you the best robust team to lead. Leadership qualities are an asset and need to be continually enhanced. A team will follow instructions, take responsibility, be accountable, and take the initiative only when they feel that their leader has faith in them. You need to lead from the front. You need to be able to know all aspects of an event uh, better than your team so that when they come to you with a possible situation, you have an answer for them. And that's when you win their trust. Crisis management with the team is a unique characteristic. Is it the event manager's responsibility to handle the situation? How would the team share this responsibility? Will the team give each other specific tasks based on their skills of crowd management, situation handling, and client relationship management? These are questions that you should sit with your team and address before every event. Don't make any kind of assumptions. Always clearly define the work, clearly define what all can go wrong and what will be the SOP in case a certain situation happens so that everybody is ready and prepared for that. Effective team building leads to improved team performance if managed correctly. One must start any event team building program with the end in mind and be clear what the objectives are. Team building activities like workshops, games, tournaments, and similar activities can be useful. You need to establish yourself as the leader of the team, not just at the time of the project, but throughout, so that when the project comes, you are naturally chosen as the leader. And it's not something that is enforced upon you or your team all of a sudden. There are specific components of effective high performing event management teams which should be routinely addressed. These include clear understanding of the team's mission, knowledge of individual and team goals, open and honest communication, 
understanding own and colleagues' roles, and a high degree of empowerment. Finally, behind every successful event is an effective team which works cohesively and harmoniously. Remember, no event can happen with one person or only with a leader. Having the whole team together working with each other is absolutely essential in achieving a good project. Summarizing the session for you today, we started the session with what are the skills required for an event manager and the most important out of them being the organizational skills. We moved on to the people skills and how event managers have to build relationships with others, be flexible and adaptable to different situations, how creativity can be an asset, having technical knowledge and know-how is absolutely essential for the role that you have to play, marketing skills, financial expertise, and knowledge of logistics being extremely important. Being able to handle a crisis is like the second name of every event manager. And then we moved on in our second segment towards how you work with the team and how you can make them uh, comfortable, trust you, uh, how you can allocate roles but, uh, amongst your team members depending on what their skill sets and capabilities are, uh, what are the leadership qualities required, and how the team basically needs to come together and deliver in order to have a successful event. I hope this was helpful. We will move on to part two in our next section.